Caitlin's roller coaster relationship with her sons. Bruce lives a lie. She is not a lie. Growing up, I didn't really have the greatest relationship with Bruce. I watched my dad cry and I watched her struggle. Did Caitlyn Jenner's sons accept her transition? When he started, you know, obviously the family with the Kardashian family and all that, I didn't really see much of him. I, I can't allow her. I, I can't let myself hurt them. I feel there's a certain amount of like torture that she's had to go through most of her life. Caitlyn even missed her son Brody's wedding. Wasn't around for my graduation, wasn't around for most of my birthdays. Honestly, it really did hurt. It was a tough journey for Caitlyn's family. I had just lost my marriage and the father yeah, of my yeah. kids. It's incredible yeah. to see the difference between Caitlyn and Bruce. I mean, I'm your dad and I'll always be your dad till the day I die. What made Brody and Brandon embrace their father? Caitlyn Jenner shares two sons with Linda Thompson. Even as Bruce, he always wanted to be a woman. I had this great normal life here in this little house in Malibu until that fateful day, standing right over there, where Bruce said to me, I, you know, I want to transition. My life just did, you know, like a 180. At one point, Linda barely could handle all that. I had just lost my marriage and the father yeah, of my yeah. kids. I was devastated, but that was just a momentary reaction. Bruce began the transition back in the 80s. He only stopped because of his little children. Those are the only ones I'm concerned with and the only ones in my life that I don't, I, I can't allow to, I, I can't let myself hurt them. However, Bruce hurt his kids after his divorce. When I was really little, we got to spend a little bit of time. When he started, you know, obviously the family with the Kardashian family and all that, I didn't really see much of it. They saw their dad's pain long before Caitlin. I feel there's a certain amount of like torture that she's had to go through most of her life. You know, I watched my dad cry and I watched her struggle with just finding the words on like how to say it. Like she was really scared. But Bruce simply disappeared from their childhood. Wasn't around for my graduation, wasn't around for most of my birthdays. So yeah, well, there really wasn't any relationship. It was very surface. Their relationship has been strained for years. Jenna's fame also put a lot of pressure on them. I thought that I was gonna be in athletics because my dad, my biological father, was, you know, the greatest athlete in the world at one point. It was hard for Brandon to live up to the expectations. Growing up with the last name Jenner, that's what people always expected of me. Now, Caitlin recognizes the mistake she made. There's no excuse for not being a good parent, no matter how many problems that you have. But then, David Foster was their father figure. He really was my father. Uh, he came into my life when I was four or five years old and began living with us. So, uh, you know, he's really the only, the father, the, the father that I knew growing up. Um, and it was really incredible to have somebody with such incredible talent. However, the transition made them closer. Growing up, I didn't really have the greatest relationship with Bruce. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see him that often. And Caitlin is just a much freer person. It's incredible yeah. to see the difference between Caitlin and Bruce. Brandon also fully supported his dad's decision. He was the first to know about the transition. I can remember it very vividly to this day of how I watched my dad go from an act, the person that I always knew him as, go from an act to being able to be herself for the first time, right in front of my eyes, over the course of 10 minutes. His brother Brody also accepted the transition. You know, Bruce had so many secrets and so many things that were, that were building up, and finally, it's, it's, it's great to see Caitlin. Being a son. However, his relationship with his dad remained complicated. Caitlin couldn't attend her son's wedding. Brody really just kind of brushed it off, but he has to have felt something, but he doesn't express it. Not having my dad at the wedding was, it was, uh, it was a bummer. You don't expect your dad to miss such a day. Honestly, it really did hurt. I would have loved to have had her there, but, you know, she had better things to do. <laughs> Uh, apparently. Caitlin admitted that she always cared about her kids. I got everybody out of the nest. Everybody's doing great. I gotta deal with myself. The last thing in the world I wanna do is hurt any one of you. Despite the conflicts, they created a bond. Bruce, Bruce and I just 
kind of really didn't get along, to be honest. And Kaylin, it's, it's literally, it's like getting to know somebody completely, like your dad all over again, but in a better way. Finding her true self strengthened Caitlin's family. Bruce lives a lie. She is not a lie. I can't do it anymore. She's also proud of her son's successful careers. Brody found his calling on TV and in DJ. Brandon became a musician and songwriter. It looks like they're finally at peace with their dad. As proud as I've been of her in, in my life, I had, I now in that moment, seeing her being able to reveal herself for the first time, was more proud of her than ever. It's great to see them trying to maintain a bond. Do you think mutual support is a key to a healthy family? Mm -hmm.